Hello world, Lockpicking Dev here. I was making a challenge lock for my first challenge lock giveaway, and I decided to go ahead and make a video on custom pin making while I was at it. The type of pins I use are standard diameter pins. The This also has a, a diameter of the IC core in it, but I used a .115. Uh, I get really long pins, that way they, have, they fit in the Dremel, and some of it sticks out to work on. You can also use brass rod of the same diameter, which will work even better. The tools I'm going to use is a steak knife, razor blade, I have used saw blades, I have a Dremel rotary blade here. Uh, this one doesn't work the best because of how big the teeth are, so smaller teeth work better. We have a Dremel rotary diamond blade. We have a, these are cheap diamond files that you can find everywhere, really cheap. And then we have just a metal file. And let's go through each of these and show you what they do. I like using a steak knife to get the serration started sometimes because the pin fits right between the grooves on here. This can get a little deeper and wider than the uh, razor blade, but it's a great starter or if you just want a little wider serration. There's a nice little serration. Another great object for serrations are razor blades. serrations and while we're at it and a, a great way to polish up serrations is by taking because there'll be some excess metal along the outside here sometimes take a sandpaper and just run it along the outside there and then I'll polish that up that way there won't be excess metal and that way your pin will actually fit in the chamber because that metal will stick a little bit more and create a wider diameter Another great way to make spools is by using old saw blades. On the left is 18 teeth per inch. We're going to use this one with more teeth per inch. And there we go. Nice little spool. You can also use these rotary saw blades from uh, Dremels. See, it's not quite as effective, but it works. A little bit different. Different shape there. We got these diamond discs for Dremels. We have these cheap little needle files, really cheap.
Let's see, that took a little bit longer. There it is. Smaller metal files. with these I actually have to push down a little harder and so I usually just don't use these at all because I have other things I'm going to throw away and are much more useful anyway instead of ruining my, my metal files. You can use metal files. I'm going to make a T-pin with this one. Last thing I want to show you is how I trim off the end. So I already have a spool inside there. I'm going to trim off the end and uh, cut it down short. And then I use the razor blade to finish it off. There we go. And then I use, it's a little loose there, I use the side of one of these diamond blades to that little nub right there to polish it down. And there we go, you can see the end's nice and polished down, there's no nub on the end of it. And we have our pin. A tip for when you already have part of your pin modified and you're inserting it in, you want to be careful on how much pressure you um, you tighten it up with because that can mess up the already modified pin so there's less pin for the chuck to grab onto so when you're putting pressure on the outside here, it'll put more pressure on the inside on those three little parts gripping onto it and it can screw it up. Now that we've seen each tool in action, let's see what kind of pins we were able to come up with. You can see we got some nice spools everywhere, a little bit of mixture of T-pin, spool with serrations in them, key pins with serrations, nice big serrations, got a mushroom type with serration on it, a bunch of fun stuff. These will end up in a future challenge lock in an upcoming video. For now, I have my first challenge lock. I'm going to give this away. Leave a comment below if you're interested. This is not an easy challenge lock. Um, all the bottom, the key pins and the driver pins have all been modified. It is six pins and it is a Yale keyway. This will be a fun little lock. Um, again, this is my first lock, so if you think you're up for the challenge, drop a comment below and I'll pick someone at random. Alright everybody, thanks for watching.